Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here, bringing you guys another video today. And today, we're going to be looking at Star Atlas. Very excited about this project here. Uh, mind you, it is a blockchain game. Uh, I was reading the white paper, really impressed on what these guys are trying to do, and what kind of feel it kind of gave me uh, as far as the gaming side goes. Um, so basically, uh, the best way I can kind of sum it up for you guys, for, especially for those of you guys that are into uh, video games, um, this, this kind of game, what they're building, reminds me of like a Mass Effect mixed in with some Destiny. Um, and then you got like all these different factions and stuff like that, so... Again, Star Atlas, it's a uh, massively multiplayer online metaverse in the distant future. Three galactic factions have emerged in an ongoing struggle for resources, territorial conquest, and political domination. Players can join a faction, directly influence the course of the metaverse, and earn real-world income for their contributions. So, think about this. Like I said, all you video gamers out there, um, think about all those times where you have played like RPG games like Elder Scrolls, uh, Mass Effect, uh, Destiny, Fallout. Um, I mean, you can pretty much name them, uh, Fable. Um, there's so many that are out there. And if you think about all those times and all those hours you spent into those particular games and, you know, all you really would get were achievements and really, you know, that's really about it. Now you have a chance to earn some income. Uh, so that kind of makes that, uh, incentive really huge on that part. So what you have here is you got the deep space exploration. You can travel anywhere in the open universe of Star Atlas. All visible stars can be manually navigated to or fully documented in your Atlas. You got faction security zones, safe zones, introduce starting players to Star Atlas. Medium and deep space zones allow for higher stakes combat and greater mining yields. Uh, combat, you got ships, space stations, and land install, uh, installations and are outfitted with an assortment of weapons and shields for attack and defense. Station modular construction, you can upgrade your space stations and surface installations to unlock enhanced tiers and capability. Uh, those of you that have played, you know, Halo Wars, I'm pretty sure you guys are all uh, familiar with that. Uh, crew and ship component outlifting, uh, you can assign the right crew members and install the best equipment to increase your ship score and expand the capabilities of your ship. Professions, you choose your crew and ships to suit your desired career path. Professions vary greatly from bounty hunter to data runner and much more. Um, that's kind of the asset class that's kind of going to be kind of cool to kind of see because, you know, you know, in Destiny, you know, you could choose like basically three characters and kind of uh, go down their different paths and you got decentralized autonomous corporations, in-game creative factions allow players to complete, uh, compete collectively, combine resources, self-govern, and manage their own microeconomy, which is going to be interesting to see. Uh, eco economics, uh, players can extract in-game virtual earnings into real-world income with complete support for a decentralized player-driven economy. Um, true asset ownership within a real-world economy. The metaverse offers a unique gaming experience by combining blockchain mechanics with traditional game mechanics. All assets in the metaverse are directly owned by players and can be traded on the marketplace or exchanged on other cryptocurrency networks. The Atlas tokens. Uh, Atlas is the native in-game currency used to acquire ships, crew, land, and equipment. It's also the uh, dominant marketplace currency. So for those of you that have been playing video games, you guys know about the in-game currency, especially when it comes to you think that you really want, um, you always got to spend the in-game currency with these tokens are actually going to actually have real uh, real value. Polis tokens. Polis is a multi functional governance token with applications both in-game and in directing the real-world economic policy. You got the universal marketplace. Uh, the marketplace connects all players and is the hub for buying and selling all assets. Players can also post listings for Paid in game tasks. I'm thinking those are going to be pretty much uh, bounties. So you can see they got world class partners in advanced blockchain operations. Uh, their partners align with their vision to deliver a purely blockchain driven metaverse that will change the gaming industry forever. Solana, Solana is a next generation blockchain processing over 
50,000 transactions per second. Uh, at sub second finality, a transformative protocol for truly scalable applications. And by the way, if you take a look at their coin, they've been doing uh, pretty solid uh, lately here. Uh, Serum, Serum's leader in decentralized exchange technology, the powerful tool set will drive the peer to peer economy of Star Atlas without the need for a third party, which is always great. More decentralization, thank you. And then you got a Stardust. Stardust delivers a unified asset and account, management experience, and elegant API. All users, all connected, all the time. Again, I went over the white paper. These guys are going to have the Unreal Engine 5 uh, part of this game. So, you know, graphics will be, again, very high quality. And I cannot wait to see it. As far as the beta and demo goes, uh, we're kind of a couple months away from that. Uh, definitely going to reach out to these guys and see what more I can learn. Um, but again, if you guys get a chance to kind of go through and read over their white paper. Uh, again, I like what I'm seeing as far as what type of game and what type of exploration you can do. Again, like I said, it already reminds me of a couple of video games that I already um, play. And um, the fact that you'll have now opportunity to really earn. I mean, as you guys can see, you know, gaming in the esports industry has really taken off. And now with, you know, blockchain, it seems like now uh, the, the possibilities are kind of endless. Um, so all those same, you know, like I said, the traditional mechanics that you normally see, like all the currency that you guys, you know, would normally spend for like Fortnite, Apex, um, COD, Warzone, all those different games, CF Thieves, like all those in-game currencies on blockchain, I'm pretty sure the future is going to be, everything's going to have value now. So, and you're going to combine that with the traditional gaming of, I mean, think about it, this game is going to have an Unreal Engine 5 uh, integrated into it. So I'm thinking crazy graphics, high paced game. Um, the fact that it's going to be exploration, you can go into space. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And the factions, factions are going to be interesting, man. Um, cause the three factions, uh, so you got the mud territory, which is governed by humankind, uh, the Oni region, which is the alien races, the Uster sector controlled by the androids. Um, I'm probably, I probably would be Join the only region just be the alien races. I could already see myself party being part of that faction. But um, yeah, if you guys haven't had a chance or haven't heard about Star Atlas, uh, definitely check them out. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep up to see where their roadmap uh, goes as far as you know this year and stuff like that. Definitely looking forward to a demo to see what this game's gonna even look like. So that's gonna wrap it up for Star Atlas. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, share with your friends. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And uh, until the next time, y'all, take care.